Sky's Ava Hurdle continues our team coverage of today's decision live now from downtown Portsmouth. And Ava, this is good news for people who live and work and visit the High Street area. That's right. Uh, we can tell you that we're here in Broody's, and you can see all the people here gathered. They're all excited, all excited about today's ruling from the court. Joining me now is Sarah Danaher. Tell me about this. We expect an appeal to come, an appeal to be noted. Uh, where do you go next? Well, next we will start our next phase of the campaign, uh, building more support. I think it'll be a little bit easier now. Everybody understands that we won. We have the best counsel around, and the judge obviously made the best decision. And we're going to take it from here, and we'll, as the mayor said, we will be in the Supreme Court, and we'll win. All right. Now, Patrick McSweeney is the attorney for the group. How soon uh, will you expect this appeal to be noted and go to the courthouse? Well, I expect a paper to be filed pretty soon asking this judge to stay his order, that is to freeze it and not have it go into effect. We'll respond to that. They will also file a notice of appeal and then file a brief asking a three-judge court to grant the writ to take it to the full court. Uh, it's, we're not in control of that schedule. That's something that they will, they will control. But we, we're looking forward to whatever they file. We're going to oppose their motion for a stay, and we'll oppose their petition for appeal. But again, a big win for the group today. Yes, thank you very much. All right, thank <laughs> you all. Appreciate it. Back now to you.